Yes, everyone, it is that time. It is I, and while the rest of you are out there looking at X-Men First Class and talking about that, I figured I'd talk about a movie that came out just this past week on DVD and Blu-ray, and it's the first movie I said, man, I really wish I would have caught this in 3D, and I'm talking about Drive Angry. Now, let me preface this by saying I don't really care for Nicolas Cage, but this film... I liked him in. Now, we're talking about Nicolas Cage playing Milton, the man who escapes from hell to go rescue his granddaughter who's going to be sacrificed by this leader of the satanic cult played by Billy Burke. Along the way, he is joined by the very beautiful and talented Amber Heard driving a fantastic and just drool over 69 Charger. Along the way as well, they are joined by Milton's friend Webster played by the very excellent David Morris, meanwhile being chased by the accountant played by William Fitchner. Folks, this is a fun movie as long as you get what they're going for, okay? In the first 10 minutes of this film, you get exactly what type of film you're in for. Gratuitous nudity, sex, violence, vulgar language, you've got it all. All the elements from those late 70s, early 80s exploitation films. And then you get got the 3D, which they even did over-the-top 3D cheese effects like they did back Back in 83, okay? Back in the old early 80s 3D when they were trying to make a comeback, they did the cheese effects in the same style, and you can tell it's on purpose. Folks, this is a great ode to those types of films. If you enjoy the Kill Bills and the Carantino type of material, if you like the Robert Rodriguez stuff, or if you just like that old exploitation type style movie, you will enjoy this film. I loved the uh, camera work in this, and the fact they use practical effects. Now, there is a lot of CG in here too at parts, especially because it's 3D. But there are also some great practical effects with the cars that just make you go, wow, that's just, that's just badass, okay? And Amber Heard's Piper is not your average damsel in distress. No, a movie like this, you might get that with a few of the minor characters, but as always, a movie like this, you have that strong female character, and Amber Heard's Piper is definitely that. She kicks major tail. And let me tell you, the delivery of the dialogue in this film is great. Nicolas Cage delivering his lines whenever possible over the top cheese, on purpose because all the actors recognize what type of fun and just over-the-top movie they're making and William Fitchner's The Accountant is just hilarious every scene he's in he steals with his dialogue and the little twitches and nuances he's so uh, good at he brings to this film this is a lot of fun as long as you enjoy and have, are open to the graphic violence the, the over-the-top nudity and vulgar language and just uh, you know crazy 3d effects and badass cars driving fast and very little uh, solid plot okay it's a fun movie though and you can tell if uh, that's what they were going for in this a big send-off to that genre of film that's why I personally had to give it five stubs in my book I enjoyed it that much I watched it two nights in a row just because I watched it by myself and then I'm like my friends gotta see this and he actually enjoyed it as well and he doesn't even care for Nicolas Cage films okay it's a lot of fun if you enjoyed shoot 'em up you will enjoy this film okay in fact there's a scene in there that they uh, try to outdo shoot 'em up in and you'll know what I'm talking about once you see it and that'll about do it for us here at the final cut thanks again for watching and till next time folks keep that ticket stub